Get this bad boy on the road. Yeah. Yep. Cool. This podcast may contain questionable language, will contain spoilers, and we do hope you enjoy your stay at the Continental. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to episode 244 of Movie Drone. I'm cheerful yet mindful, Steve. I'm suspicious, Mark. <laughs> you didn't add a second bit. No, mm. suspicious and malicious, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> I'm malicious. You is more like a, a normal person. Yeah. You know, and you, you ain't got a malicious bone in your body, mate. Oh no, not me. You know me. A little bit of a whim. Too you easy going, aren't I? You do. You're verbally malicious. Yeah. You like to have a shout and a scream. Yeah. And uh, and then I'm not a nasty person. Out. Hashtag be kind, isn't it? Is it? What yeah. happened to all that? I don't know if you got it in you not I to 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 be that. No, what kind? No or malicious. No malicious. Yeah, fine. no, it's pointless. Fine. Pointless. It's like we was talking the other day about anger. Pointless emotion, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun though. I it, enjoy it, being it, angry. Yeah, I enjoy being angry in my own little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, I find I get angry at myself most. I'm the one who pisses me off the most. That's and it, I, I get angry at you most, isn't it? Yeah. I have arguments with myself occasionally. Do you? Yeah. Do you win? I doubt you win. No, I no, always lose. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out uh, I'm always right, so. <laughs> so have you been? I've been all right, mate. I've been all right. I had my eyes tested, didn't I? Did you? Always like an eagle, Please mate. Please tell me you got where a glass Always is. like an eagle. Well, it's because uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, she did tell me, in two years' time, you're definitely going to need them. Really? But it's a bit of luck, because I went in and had my eye test. They blew that air thing in my eyes. That is not fun. No, it's not. That well, is when it, fucking when it goes. horrible. <laughs> no matter how much you think you're ready for it, <laughs> it's horrible. You shouldn't try and be ready for it. I did get yeah. a picture of my eye bill, though. Yeah. picture of my eye bill. I had a good look at that. But by the time I'd come out my eye test, mate, she'd already spent four and a half hundred quid on glasses. So it was a bit of luck, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit of luck. Nice. When I went for the cheaper ones, did you? <laughs> Well, for her? Yeah. Oh, right. She okay. had to have them. Oh, right. They okay. was like, yeah, you need them. Not for you. Well, I ended up getting a pair of sunglasses in there because I felt left out. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I was right. like, oh, I ain't got enough pair of sunglasses. I like it's them. Fucking, you don't need them at the moment, mate. It's pissing hard. Get in there, mate. Get in there. Um, got another assignment sent off. That's good, isn't it? Uh, are you burying wildlife? No, in mate. Here? I am. Like tubs of stuff. I'm ready to science. Right. Ready okay. to science. I mean, you don't clean everything else out. I thought you was going to clean everything else up first. Well, did you notice where you parked on the driveway? I mean, there's shit everywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's because that's a shed. Right. And until I have the shed up, right. that shit's got to stay in here. I feel like I've been conned a bit. I thought that all of this lot would come in and all no. that lot would have gone by now. No. I think well, I think it's going to struggle to get in here soon. Yeah, no, it'll be fine, mate. And it's going to smell, isn't it? It's going to smell a bit oniony. Oh, I'm not going to no. lie. Are you joking? It, no, well, I'm growing onions. Even more onion. <laughs> Even more oniony. But I'm ready to science. Look at it all. She thinks I'm breeding tortoises by the looks of things. What's going on there when if all the lights were. are on. If only you were. Yeah. That would be fun. Onions. <laughs> onions, mate. I um, found an old favourite of mine in the shops this week. Do you know when you're looking for a drink? You can't solve what you want. I was going to say, like, a waffle cardigan or something. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Stay fresh. No, I was thirsty. I was thirsty, and I walked in. I was like, I don't want none of that shit that's in that. And I saw, corner of my eye, another drinks fridge. So I had a wander over. Orangina. Was it? Orangina. In a bottle? In a bottle. It was Ooh. a plastic bowl now, not a glass oh, really? one. Yeah. yeah. No, I can't Bit s- controversial. S- Same shape. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Took me back to 1992. Still got bits in it. Yeah. Is it? You have to, you know, it was all set on the shelf, all settled. Oh, is it? Yeah. To give it a shake. Give it a shake. Oh, okay. Not too much because it's fizzy, isn't it? Oh, wow. But yeah, it was lovely. I only had five of them this week so far. Does <laughs> that replace the Coke, is it? It's basically vitamin C, isn't it? It's basically oh, vegetables yeah, and fruit. Yeah, uh, maybe. And, maybe. and I've shown you, mate, and I've shown you my brick. Shown you my brick. Yes. That's from the Apple series. You panicked a bit when I threw it at you, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know why. It's quite I mean, good, I, isn't it? I don't know why I fell for it. You know what I mean? It's quite a good movie, Brick. Isn't you it? would not have been able to throw a proper brick <laughs> that far Fair with, point, without mate. Like, being all weedy. So who's the mug enough, you for but... reacting? <laughs> I feel it's quite, quite cool, though, isn't it? I do feel like a mug. See the thing in front of it as well, that handle. Yeah, yeah do you remember the uh, film um, Empire of Light? 
Right. Where she goes and takes him upstairs through them doors. Yeah. Yeah, that's a handle. Is it? Yeah. Did it come off in your hand? Yeah, <laughs> it might have fell off. <laughs> you stole it from no, the well, set? No, I didn't actually get there because I had an eye test and it oh. was all running a bit, so he okay. stole me something. Right. So that's that handle that she goes through. Right. To go upstairs. Has he been touched by Olivia Wilde? Yeah, it has been touched by Olivia Coleman. Look at that. Cole, that's it. <laughs> Coleman, yeah, not Olivia. Have you been touched Olivia by Olivia Wilde? Olivia Wilde is welcome around here any time <laughs> to touch my handle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she wants. She's got small hands. She has got small hands. <laughs> Olivia Coleman's touched that. I well, I mean, if only it were prettier. Yeah, it but it would, is uh, a real prop from an Oscar-nominated film. Well, it's in not. My it's shed. actually a real... It's not a prop. It is a that's prop. A real, that's a real part of the thing that's no, fallen no. off. No, it's a prop. Oh, is it? If you look at it and check the pattern around on the inside of it right. and the way it's been put together, that is a prop, right. mate, okay. from an Oscar-nominated film. Okay. Probably put it on a shelf somewhere. And some oh. bricks. And some bricks from I a soon-to-be series. I actually thought it would be like more like program specific, like Apple were doing something. Uh, I don't know, not like Marvel or something, you know, yeah. but like a, a big thing. Like oh, I, can't, I can't really not, tell you what it's called yet. A bit, it's a brick. Yeah, I mean, that, those get taken from one set to another. What's well, that more exciting? It all makes sense when I tell exciting. you the series it's from. Still, uh, all makes sense. More exciting. Yeah. I'll well, see what he's working on next, mate. See what else he can nick me. Unless he's got fired for stealing. Yeah. So no, no, there that's we all go. good. They can go on the shelf. I'm now right. collecting props. I've got my first two. How's yeah. your week been, mate? <laughs> Goes with the Italian glassware, does it? <laughs> okay, now. Not too bad, mate. Yeah. Uh, you know, still hanging on in there. Doing yeah. work. Still got a bit of a cough and that. So yeah. nothing has really changed. I managed to get my pink trainers in the end. Hey, hey. they come back. No, they he, didn't, he no. found he was on the shit no, list. I didn't know. Somewhere no. else. Yeah, they went on sale at Nike. Oh. Is that how you say it? Them, um, I mean, I always said Nike. So the vouchers I got you for that specific shop didn't no, come they'd in. They'd already any. been spent. Oh, right. Cool. Someone else got me vouchers for that, but Jill wanted some shoes. So right. we thought I'd done a little trade off. Did you make sure it was like the, uh, what, the currency? was altered <laughs> to your thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, shoe shop pounds are not worth as much as British sterling love. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if this gets edited out or not. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I've got me, got me pink trainers. i try, try them on quick. Oh, they're here them. as well. Yeah, right? yeah turn up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good, eh? Yeah, mate, you run faster? I have tried them on. I've got a cough. It's going to be like The Flash. <laughs> Always like The Flash, Mark. Check Always me out with a uh, comic book <laughs> reference <laughs> that I got from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Uh, I might look like the Flash, and then uh, I had a, a Kenny Santon burger this week. Oh, so you one of the did us. you? Yeah, one of the best burgers I've ever had. Was yours one, from a chuck wagon in Newington? No. Oh, oh. you didn't have a uh, the Grumpy Dad's? No. Real. Oh, right. Okay. No. All right. Uh, no, I had one from a pub called Dirty Fucker or something. No, Greedy Banker actually. Oh, the Greedy Banker one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. had one him. Have you? Yeah. Oh fuck. Rainham. Yes. Yeah. You've been there? Yeah. When you go to Elmo's always on a boat. It's like to sneak in and have one. What, on your own? Yeah. Can't yeah. think what it was. Um, you went on your own? Can't think what it was, mate. Uh, Fuck yeah. Can't think what one it was. It was a good one. Right. He's, he you goes just there went there on your often. own, like a sad yeah. sack. Yeah, he popped in and get one. You know, they got sports on the telly and that. You, you just <laughs> didn't, you didn't look out of place or nothing, though. No? All right. Okay. <laughs> Be fine, mate. Well, I, mean, I suppose you didn't get stabbed or nothing yeah. up there. Yeah, they got the isn't it like a greedy pigeon or something somewhere else down the road. Dead pigeon, dead pigeon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Yeah, bloody good burger. Yeah, not as good as my chuck wagon one, mate. I, I Me mean, and Elmo went there in the week, did grinned at each other as we was eating our chuck wagon burgers. I, I, I think it was probably better at the, the greedy banker. Less not. chance of Ebola or something. Yeah, likes it though. What the burger? Yeah, yeah. I did, what yeah. one did you have? Uh, I don't know, americano. Uh. You have to have the American one, didn't you? With all uh. the bacon and. All the pickles and all that. Oh, right? yeah, you would like it, obviously, if it had maple syrup or something in it as well, wouldn't you? <laughs> it probably had something like it. it had maple cured bacon, oh, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. They're like in America, aren't they? I was yeah. talking, thinking about that when I went to the cinema uh, this week. Um, we don't have butter on our popcorn over no. there. No. They do over there. You know what that is like? It might explain the size of some of them. <laughs> you know what it's like? Yeah. Vile. Is it? Yeah. Absolutely horrible. It's is it horrible. really? Yeah, fucking horrible. I can what? imagine really greasy fingers. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's all greasy and like... I don't know why to describe it. It's not, obviously, I don't know, I didn't find it sweet. It's just like lardy. Well, there was a I mean? video right. going around a little while ago about someone loving their job and they was working in a movie yeah. theatre in America and they was like filling out, putting butter and he was yeah, shaking yeah. it. Did you see that? Yeah, How yeah. much butter? That was oh, like five quid's worth of lure pack yeah. going on. It, 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 it's not nice. It, Is it but, real butter? It's just like, yeah, it's just like warm. Ghee. Can, <laughs> yeah, just like warm fucking... Thin butter, it's oh. horrible, oh. really rank. Okay. I wouldn't recommend it. 
Yeah. Not in a cardboard box that's got a hole in the bottom of it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Go on, thanks, mate. Yes, mate. I've got thanks to Right Stuff Reviews, to Lee, the VHS Abyss, Keith Noakes, Soundtrack Your Life, VHS Strikes Back, Jamie Irwin, WTM, and Mike, Mike, and Oscar. Thanks very much to everyone for the retweets on our last episode. I've got special thanks this week to Jill Cassie, Jamie Russell, Glynn, Sean Pan and Nicholson, Emirate Movies, LJ Human, Ian McIntyre, Mr. Positivity, Ben and Paul from Filmbusters, Ryan, Kareem Helliwell, Little Nick, and Dave Horrocks. Thank you all very much Thanks. for your interactions. Promo? Got you a treat. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Oh, give up. I've got an idea. Hello, Jamie. I'm in desperate need of lessons, mate. Any chance you can help out? You can? Thanks for all the lessons, Jamie. Let's give it a go now. Oh, that's brilliant. If you want guitar lessons online in the safety of your own home with a top quality guitar tutor, look up Jamie Irwin Guitar Tuition on YouTube or look him up on Twitter. Look up Jamie Irwin Guitar Tuition online now. <laughs> the only thing that would make that better, I think, mm. is when you start playing like the, sh- the shit guitar playing, mm. if you play like the Question Time theme yeah. instead. Yeah. Okay. But, but they, uh, we had a little rendition of that on, yeah. uh, on Film Buster. Yeah. Like, oh, good, yeah, it? it yeah. was, yeah. Like Travelling, yeah. mate. Travelling. If you know, you know. Must so, point out as well, yeah. that was made during COVID. So when I say the safety of your own home, it's not that you've got to avoid <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> it was in COVID. <laughs> yeah, he's on a list somewhere. He's not on any yeah. list. Shit. <laughs> he's fine. He can probably come to your house yeah, now, if you live in his local area yeah so uh, but he's still doing it online yeah yeah good yeah. good i hope he's well and please you heard what he could do oh on, listen on to all of our stuff the good ones yeah um obviously he didn't play on question time theme no easy to say that he didn't yeah yeah that's just, just in case yeah. there was any any doubt no so please look up our friend jamie Irwin for your guitar lessons ah oh, go on then Welcome to the Mark reads some film lines in some similar voices and Steve has to guess the film from the lines read to get points game. Hashtag what's that film? Um, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I won this week. A big mm. five for me. I don't think anyone else would have got that. It was a very niche one and I got it straight away. Got straight yeah. in there. So who got less than me um, this week? I pulled it. He sent his last four weeks worth in. Um, he got zero, zero, one, zero. So he got apparently he's having a bit of a bad run. Zero on what? Like this week? Zero on this week. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, no, mate. He's terrible, isn't it? Jamie Russell says he's got a five. Yeah. But if he claims a four, can he have a six like LJ? What's he on six for? Because no, no. I didn't say it this week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dave H, amazing little uh, quote he's put in that he doesn't want to piss on your chips. Right, good. But he got a five. Oh, fuck. Glyn got a five. What? Kareem got a five. What? Film Busters Paul got a five. What? Emma got a zero. Apparently she was sleep deprived, so we'll let her off. What? Ryan got a five. What? Maisie got a four. Yeah. Even Jill got a five. And LJ got a five. Fucking Jill, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that ain't no good, is it? No. Uh, well, there we go then. Must have been uh, a little bit easier than I thought. Yeah. But uh, that's about as pissed on my bonfire. <laughs> so, pissed on your chips. <laughs> yeah, and it just. Uh. So, what have you got for us this week, mate? Five points, mate. What's the film? That lady over there said that Marco Polo was in the year 1275. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Boom! <laughs> I want to roll, mate. Five You know what five. it is? I think it's this cold. I'm going to piss on your think, chips next think, week. I ain't it? having this. What was that lump that went down? And now <laughs> oh, I've got... Pinky. Now, yeah, now I've got some form of uh, some form of chest infection. Yeah. If I've got an ailment, I'm on the game, mate. Right. I'm on the game. Four points then. Yeah. For everyone else. What's that film? It's a history report, not a babe report. <laughs> right. Is it specific? Is it specific or just a... Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, because okay, they're so all called different, aren't they? Okay, good, mm. good. Three points. What's that film? 
Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. <laughs> right, okay. I think the accent's getting a bit worse as we go yeah, along. But, you know, I, yeah, I'll it's what it, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Two points. What's it feel? Sounds good, Mr. The Kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've just actually got the coalition between the episode and, and okay, what's that yeah, 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 clever, yeah, isn't okay, it? Yeah. Rumble in my system. <laughs> One point. What's that film? Oh, we are. Is dust in the wind, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's a system or if it's you going, fuck it, I ain't got nothing for what's that film. What can I do? What can I do? The, oh, the system. And it just clicks. The system. <laughs> Is it? It is a system. <laughs> no one ever had to say systems needed to be clever. Right, okay. Or actually uh, a system. Path of leaf resistance, I was always <laughs> taught, mate. So uh, I've got a magnificent five this week, so mm. I imagine it'd be a few more, if I'm honest, you since think? the first accent wasn't too bad, the first impression. So mm. please let us know what you think you got and what film you think it is via DM only. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. This is... It's getting close, isn't it, the old Easter one? It's yeah. getting close, I think. Yeah. So... Uh, it's not there yet. No. Um, but Jill said it's Good Friday next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> good. Yeah. Nearly there. But we had one this week. Mm. Have we got any coming up? Or got well, we've obviously got an Easter one in the wings, yeah, yeah. but we need one for after Easter. Do we? I don't okay. know what the next thing is. Getting critical. Lent. I, I mean, we already had ask, Lent, and we... Fucking don't ask me. I do think it? it's Lent. Is it's it? Lent, maybe. I think you're supposed to not be doing stuff now, and you? Is that Lent... I don't know. I'm supposed to have given up. When was oh yeah, it's pancake day. Yeah, yeah air, you gave up air cuts, didn't you? Yeah, Looking after yourself, <laughs> washing, <laughs> caring. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Anyway, uh, please. Yeah. Where can people send questions? Mark? They can send them via Twitter, which is at movie underscore drone, or via email on movie drone podcast at hotmail dot com. Spring, uh, spring's next, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Spring's good. Brings lambs, chicks, all that Lovely. sort of stuff. There you go. It's a good question. Yeah. Right then, mate, moving on. Yeah. This is the next section. This is the section that we love to call... Question, question time. Question time. Question time. Time for the question. Question time. Question time. Question time. Time for the question. Question time. And that's why you should go to Jamie Irwin's Guitar Tuition. We got a question in this week. Yeah. Who's it from? What's it about? It's from the missus, mate. Is it? Yeah, it's from the missus because she loves, Questions loves, on. loves my puns and stuff. She finds them hilarious. Right. Yeah, and the kids do. They all think I'm hilarious. I hope I've got this question right. Yeah, but she wants, well, you can do what you like. There's no right or wrong, mate. Well, no right or wrong. wrong. I've gone both ways. I'm a bit worried. Right. So she says... I wants us to invent five movie-based Easter eggs. Okay, not too bad. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think I've done it. Okay. Right. My number five or your number five? Go, I mean, go on. My number five, mate, is the Malteser Falcon. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done puns. You don't have to. Uh, I've done some puns, some not puns. <laughs> the Malteser Falcon. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. It's yeah. a loose one. It is loose, but, you know. It's got Maltesers. It's based on the Maltese Falcon. Malteser Falcon. All right. Fuck you. Nothing loose about it. It's all tied and bowed, mate. Okie dokie. I've got the Wilson egg. Okay. Cast away. Yeah. I'd like to see, I, I mean, I would, I would like to, any Easter egg could do. Okay. Any Easter egg, any chocolate yeah. for me. But the Wilson egg from okay. cast away. Shit one, but that's fine. My number four, mate. I've got two for this one. I couldn't decide, right? right. So I've either got a Pocket Twix now or the Blair Twix project. <laughs> Whatever one you want. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! I mean, they're all right. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't do this because I wouldn't have been able to think of it this week. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky yeah. you've got these. If I'm honest, <laughs> my number uh, two is yeah. the Howard the Duck egg. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, uh, that work. Have one in one old school school ones with a mug. Yeah. Oh yeah, could do. Yeah. Yeah. You you always get loads of mugs, didn't you? Don't <laughs> get them. Eggs. Yeah. No, that's, no. Yeah, you get a mug for everything, though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've got loads of mugs. Kit Kats and <laughs> Kit Kat mugs, yeah. Miles mugs. Um, my number three, then, mate, is an eight mile egg. What? It comes with M&M's. <laughs> oh, thank you, right. Is this what you've been doing this week? Oh, I've been so much. That's what fun. you've been doing at work, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. My number. Bar three yeah. is the big urns bowling ball egg. Okay. From Kingpin. Yeah. So. Gone for round things, basically, then, yeah. Well, fucking egg, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, number two, mate, is based on the Martian. 
So you need you get a Mars bar. Right. Uh, you chuck a galaxy in if you want, or a Milky Way. Right. <laughs> do, <Okay>. isn't it? <laughs> it will do, mate. Yeah. It will do. My number, what is it, two? Yeah. Is the Coneheads egg. Oh. See, I didn't go for every fun fucking round, did oh, I? Okay. Right. Coney egg. Yeah. So you got yeah. like three cone head things. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. I wonder if that changes the uh, taste of it, not having it round. I have it pointed. I don't know, because I quite like eating that little top bit of the cone. What you could do is Bite dip out. the top of the cone into like a hot drink, and like start mm. melting it and then like suck it. Oh, oh that sounds right, right, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever played the chocolate finger sucking thing? Mm, I'm not sure. I didn't or go a to the same sort of school as you. Or a twig sucking thing. So you bite the end off a twix and you drink your tea through it. And oh, I don't eat. do stuff dunked in tea and that. Huh? I don't do biscuits and that in it. I think, it's, freak. I think it's disgusting. Oh. I do not dip. I could do a whole tea. the whole cup of tea with a pack of biscuits. I, I don't dip it. Oh, All the really shit rank at the bottom of the tea. It's disgusting. Right, my number one, mate, is a clockwork chocolate orange. Hey, <laughs> eh? yeah, not too bad. I've man. got more. I've got more. Oh my god! Well, you can go through them in a minute. No. Oh, let me do my first one. Yeah. My last one. First yeah. one yeah. is uh, the three boob egg from Total Recall. Hey, <laughs> 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 all right, yeah, uh, just for the just for the. Well, I don't know. Not just for the males, you know. They could all have it. Anyone yeah. can have it. Anyone can. Aren't people that buy it? I'm sure so. well, Lee would buy it. Yeah, Lee would. He'd wear it first <laughs> uh, when Sophie was out. So uh, <laughs> come yeah. back and he's covered in chocolate. What have you been out to? <laughs> it's been eating new egg. He's <laughs> Of course you have. Oh dear. We have to go through this again, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, go on then. What you got? What's oh, I don't, don't want to ruin them. I'll just do it now. Well, got, obviously, you'd have to go back to the, like the is it eighties or nineties for the marathon man one, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, a rocky bar, huh. right? Yeah, so you get, rocky road, is it? So no rocky, but it comes with rocky bars. Oh, right, so it's based okay. on rocky. Galaxy Quest bar, right. Galaxy Bar Quest, right? Um, and one just done on a little bit of a um, line from one, but it's a go ahead, flake my day. <laughs> <laughs> you just saved that then because oh. I was going to say you shouldn't have read them out yeah. but that last one was actually quite good yeah yeah. well oh, done well done too much fun to be had mate well there we go that come is... on everyone pun it up but that wasn't the Easter question was it no that was just a bonus that was a little appetizer yeah, it was because I've been eating Easter eggs all this time still got about mm. eight in the fridge <laughs> so that's good bought two more today <laughs> so you oh, had eight in the fridge last week yeah. but you ate two today so you've all definitely eaten at least two this week oh yeah yeah bought, bought a few don't worry about it don't worry about it so uh, mate oh thanks Cass anyway yeah. thanks Cass so moving on yeah we saw a film we did we saw a film mate it's currently 8.4 out of 10 on IMDb it's a 15 2 hours 49 minutes long Bill's an action crime thriller with a synopsis of John Wick uncovers a path to defeating the high table but before he can earn his freedom Wick must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into foes 90 million dollar budget last time I checked it had grossed 138 million this is directed by Chad Stahelski starring Keanu Reeves Donnie Yen, Bill Skarsgård, Lawrence Frischburn, Lance Reddick and Ian McShane. This was 2023's John Wick, Chapter 4. Clip. This hit goes out to you, Mr Wick. Woke up this morning. 42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. And so it begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Challenge him to single combat. If you win, you will have your freedom. Amen. Here we go. Hmm? All right, clip. Yeah. Yeah, could have. Not an awful lot of dialogue to work <laughs> with, mate, to be fair. Keanu Reeves barely said anything in this. Yeah. No, oh, not like literally barely said anything. Mate, what's that film one. for John Wick 4? Five points. What's that film? Yeah. <laughs> Four points. What's that film? Yeah. <laughs> Three points. Film me. <laughs> I thought he only get it on like two or something anyway. Um, so, mate, yeah. I'm interested in knowing what did you think of 2023's John Wick Chapter 4. You might look at me a bit weird in a minute, mate, because I've got like two pages of notes on this, so you might have to worry me up a bit. But to use Dave's amazing saying, mate, I don't want to piss on anyone's chips. <laughs> Um, but the tour de force of people saying that this is the best one yet and it continues its pattern of each one being better than the last, in my opinion, 
This is clearly the weakest, and I think I'm going to say I was disappointed in it. Right. I got a lot wrong with it. Right. I got a lot wrong with it. Did not enjoy it. I mean, I, I saying you got a lot wrong with it. Yeah. I, I can sort of understand it a little bit because mm. I think it was in danger of, in my opinion, disappearing up its own backside mm-hmm. with, like, um, big, like, adding too many layers, this mm. table and all that, and the marquee and stuff like that. I'm starting to become a little bit lost as to who's who and who I should be worried about and who's not and stuff like that. So maybe I sort of understand, but go on, explain a little bit more. It was just so fucking repetitive, mate. I thought the fight scenes were monotonous and repetitive. How many times can I use this judo arm lock thing? Honestly, it was just... They just went on and on, and for me, it was just a case of everything was... Quantity over quality in this one. Right. I think when I look back, I, f- I think there was some very good, very well rehearsed set scenes. But on a whole, I just found it all a bit sloppy and repetitive. And I think they rent a weird, weird way. There's plenty of positives with it. Right. Plenty of positives. Uh, yeah, I, did, I just struggled with it. I really did. Have you seen the training video of him in his jeans doing the nunchuck training? Yeah. It's quite good fun, isn't it? It is good for like at the end of it. You know, he's 58. Yeah, but stuff like that, I mean, that was fresh. Yeah. But we're rolling around, we're shooting again in a room full of glass. Yeah. I mean, we've, I've seen it. We've been there. We've done it. We're back in a nightclub. We've seen it. We've done it. I think when we got, for me, Parabellum was something special. I loved the first three. You introduced me to them. Mm. This is not really my bag. Right. But I think the whole appeal to him from me, is I love his whole sheer will to live. Mm-hmm. Like, it is just, I'm avenging my dead dog and I'm trying to get out of the criminal world for the memory of my missus. I'm a human, but I've just got incredible will to live. He's just a machine. He's not superhuman and he gets smacked around a lot, but he's damageable. Mm-hmm. This one took it to another level. I mean... The end of Parabellum, we had him off the side of a building and then he sort of vanished and we assumed he was pretty fucked up, but he would live. This one, he was getting through them things like water. He come off the side of a fucking building, rattled around the side of a bus. He stepped over the mark that goes towards superhuman. Mm. I just thought, ease up a bit. Yeah. It was just like, the, it was like they went for a final bow. And let's just cram as much shit in as we can. I mean, John Mc Five's in pre-production. I think is it? Yeah. Oh, you. Okay. Jo- I thought this was it. <laughs> oh no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I think. Uh, did you stay for the clicker, the kicker at the end? What the completely pointless click? Um, <laughs> it's a lot of right, right at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, right it was like. Sit for like 20 I made minutes. her sit and watch it, and then she just walked. She looked at me and went, "Are you serious?" <laughs> I thought she was going to be in it a little bit um, mm-hmm. more. But, uh, yeah, I do understand what you mean. I'm not quite sure that I sort of uh, didn't like it as much as you. The reason that I was a little bit annoyed, for some reason it seems like the director decided to double up on every scene. So go I, down the stairs, I, <laughs> go down the stairs. Well, I totally understand the stair bit. So if he'd only done it once, so, let, like, so we, we went to the club yeah. We'd done the fight through the club. Yeah. Um, we had a nice little tent scene around the table, quite yeah. like that. Then we went into the club and we'd done the fight and he got one-on-one with that kingpin type bloke. Then he got knocked down. Um, if it had just been the kingpin that had gone to him then, again, and they'd had that final quick fight, it'd been fine. But then we had a load more people in the hotel. Yeah. We had them and then we had uh, Do- Donnie Yen came and then we had loads more people, um, loads more henchmen or whatever yeah. to fight. It would have made sense to me the stair bit. I would have found that amusing, and so him getting to the top of the stairs, then getting knocked all. If that was yeah. the first time that they doubled up on the action yeah. on any scene, I would have liked it. But every single scene, it seemed to go through to an end, and then we got the same amount of fighting and all that afterwards. And I was thinking, this is certainly a bit drawn out. How many more people can come through and get shot? So yeah, th- that. I don't know. I don't know why it needed to be this runtime. I think I'll make you right on that, actually. I think I would have enjoyed the stair thing if I hadn't already have got to this point where I'm like, come on. Yeah. I, 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 when, when he did it on the stairs, I was like, oh, not more. Whereas I should have been like, oh, actually, I like the fact that he's got to do it again, you yeah. know. But I was I was out. I don't know. It's weird to say. I was, I, I'd been like full out, if you know what I mean. I had too much 
fighting going on, and mm. it's it is part of John Wick. But yeah. you are right. There's only so much I think that um, that little I don't know what's he got in his jacket, like a plate or something that yeah. stops the bullets or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if any of the people that he went up against in this film could shoot straight. He would have been dead quite early. I mean, yeah, I mean that is a trope of it. He is that, but I can get. He was just miles, miles too long. I think you could probably edit an hour out of this, mm-hmm. and I think there's a good film in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm confused why they honestly went the way they did with it. For me, it wrote itself. Um, I mean, he wanted to rise against the high table, and it didn't really happen because they kept saying to him, "You kill him off." And they'll just replace him, which is exactly what's going to happen. So I thought this was going to be a big rise against the high table, topple them, and almost have an allyship with Winston, the character Shima- Shimazu. Shimazu? Bless you. <laughs> um, even that turning the cane, possibly, mm-hmm. and actually having a battle to overturn and destroy the high table. But we've basically ended up back at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. We have literally gone full circle. Nothing has changed no. through our four films. I mean, uh, it's, it's it's just a, a big action film based around uh, a plot that existed before. Well, we, I felt we like we was heading somewhere. We, we've had the Avenging the Dog, then we went on and did the other bits, then we've had the High Table and the thing with Winston and all bits like that, and I felt like we was heading towards a crescendo, not a circular motion to pretty much High Table still in existence, there's still no normal people on the streets, apparently. Everyone's got a gun. I can deal with all that, but I wanted, even if they're going to carry it on, I wanted a finish where it could start from again. Yeah, I think it's got a bit cartoony mm. in this one. I think uh, when you had, like the kingpin that we spoke about before, that bloke in the club, um, I think that that sort of started to get a bit comic. Picky. I thought That's I was going to hate that. When I first saw him there, I thought, what the fuck? I liked him. By but... the end of that scene... I really enjoyed that. Was probably my favourite scene. Yeah, yeah. It was actually really, really good. I mean, it's probably got one of my favourite scenes in any action film, any time yeah. in ever in this, right. and that's the incendiary shotgun scene from above. Okay, yeah, that was fucking immense. It was great. Just to, I mean, if if anyone doesn't want to watch this, um, but you do like sort of like set pieces and stuff like that, if you get a chance to watch the incendiary shotgun scene. Uh, plays out like a computer game, um, beautifully directed, wasn't amazing. it? Amazing. That was that was that was the bollocks. That was that. an amazing set piece. It was, yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, we got a dog in it. Yeah. Again, um, I'm a little bit uh, what, what a dog. I mean, absolutely yeah. amazing dog. But yeah. I'm a little bit worried that every fucked hard fucking will want one now. Yeah. And we'll see loads of Belgian Malinois, were they? Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. see loads of those on the fucking streets, and they they won't be controlled. Um, I can just imagine people sitting there going, oh, I want one of them, and then yeah. not being able to bloody walk it and that. You know, it's what we get, in it, around here? Did you like the actual idea of the tracker bloke, though? No. Nope. No, the dog was nice, but I didn't. Again, I don't think they explored his character enough. I don't think they did anything with his character enough. No, I had. Uh, I, I was a bit confused with his character because I thought that, obviously, he was portraying this, like, um, complete... Uh, to be able to sort of track John Wick and all that and and sort of uh, hold your own with him. He's got to be a fairly decent, but there was times that he showed quite a bit of weakness, yeah. and I think the character for me was quite confusing. Yeah, um, but I do think they've, they've got a habit of creating very good characters. Mm. I still think Lawrence Fishburne continued his complete underuse of his character. Well, he did, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, he ends up in the underground of every country he goes to. It's just like, it's But there's so weird. much they could do with him. He's a great yeah, he's character. Yeah. I mean... You've got um, Ian McShane. I mean, for me, he looked like he was wearing a silicon mask. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, he's gradually becoming less... Withering, isn't less he? Less of Ian McShane as the films go on. Yeah. So... <laughs> um, but, I mean, I loved I loved Kane. What? I thought he was a great character. Um, I was gutted Lance Reddick got killed off Yeah, I know. Oh, I like his character. He I, was I, great. He, he's been good in all of them, and I yeah. was hoping that he, that he sort of, like, stayed all the way through. Obviously, he wouldn't have been able to... Now, um, rest in peace for mm. him. But, uh, but yeah, so that was a bit cutting. I um, didn't really go for the old blind hitman. I, I, I thought it was a little bit clunky to start with, but actually through a lot of the fighting scenes, I thought they had played very meticulous detail into what he would and wouldn't be able to see, do, hear, 
Uh, do you, um, but I, I just think someone would have easily been able to just stand six feet away from him and shoot him in the head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, you yeah. know, if you, if you were fighting against him... Oh, I don't disagree, mate. You could easily stand... I mean, if anyone could shoot straight, which they couldn't in this, yeah. if you, you could stand six feet away and shoot him a, a, a thousand times in this film. Yeah. So I, I didn't really like the fact that he was blind. Mm. I did enjoy the fight sequences that he was in. Yeah. I did enjoy the, the conversations that he had with all the other characters. Um, I just didn't... I just didn't understand why he had to be blind, to be yeah. honest. I didn't think it added anything. Okay, Bill Skarsgård. Mm, um, I, I, I mean, it's a new character, the Marquis. Yeah. I don't think it was really explained as to who they are and where they fit into the folklore no. for myself. It was like, we're expected that it's just this person. So is he higher than the table? Is he... Is he work for the table? Is he? I don't. I for don't me, really he was, know. I wouldn't say king of the table, but like board of directors. But I assumed he was their their figurehead and their. But do you think? Yeah, but you're assuming. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in a film that's two hours and forty five minutes long, you would have thought that maybe a bit more of an explanation would have come on rather than just the mentioning of a marquee. Well, we didn't really get much from the high table at all, did we? No, considering that's where we're pretty much heading. Yeah. Loved I, if I won the lottery, mm. that's how I'd dress. Okay, yeah, like the marquee yeah. every day. What yeah. a fucking what a f- wardrobe that Dapper, was! Yeah, wow, wouldn't he? Yeah. But he, I mean, he was obviously an arsehole. Yeah. I think he played it quite well. Did I like the French accent? <sighs> Don't know. Oh, I really. actually thought he was really good. Right. And again, I thought he was a good character. But I just thought if we're going to have nearly three hours of film, we've got plenty of time to get to know these other characters. And yes, John Wick is fucking amazing. Yes, Keanu Reeves is amazing at playing John Wick. But if we're just going to keep rehashing it, we've got to do something else with it. Mm. And I'm sure there are people that are absolutely loving this. It's getting really... Like people are saying, it's the better one of them all and they just keep getting better as they better. For me, it pales towards Parabellum. Okay. I, I just can't... I just don't see the mass appeal for this. It was just another film. I mean, if you look broadly... In things like like you got the Arc de Triomphe scene and all that with the cars and stuff like that. I mean, a masterpiece of action film yeah. making. It looked absolutely f- crazy. Yes, we didn't like the fact that everyone was getting hit by cars every now and then, and we didn't like the fact that it was longer. But when, if you actually condense it down and think about what a achievement it was to make these scenes. I think, you know, you can put it and you can understand why people were saying, look, you know, it was absolutely amazing. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can see it both ways. I, I can. I'll just reverse to your point where actually we're saying, like, the stair scene lost some impact. Of course. Mm. Because of that. So some of these things, I, I agree, they were fucking... I mean, the cinematography, the lighting in this film is fucking amazing. I think the score was amazing. The directing was great. Um I thought they was all brilliant, but you just lose the impact with too much stuff. Yeah, the um the soundtrack was was good. It was quite varied. We had yeah. Rolling Stones, and then there was the bit on the stairs where they played a song from Justice. Yeah. I actually got it wrong. I I thought it was Simeon Mobile Disco, but it was it was Justice. But um, it makes sense because they yeah. are French. But um, yeah, the the use of that sort of like more modern, especially in the of, cinema as well, when it's going. Yeah. Uh, that was that was quite good. I like that. I'm glad that they didn't play all the cliches. Hmm. Um, it was the, packed the, as well. The cinema was it? Yeah. Oh, mine wasn't. But I did go at four o'clock um, on a oh. Sunday afternoon. So uh, so yeah, it was it was quite nice. I loved. Um, I don't know if you've got it or if you've seen it. I can't remember the Ode to the Warriors. You seen the Warriors? I've seen the Warriors. Yeah. Have we covered it on here? Maybe. I can't remember. Maybe I'll give okay. it you. I don't know. But it's one of my favourite films with the DJ. Yeah. Um, obviously, you see her lips when she's calling to action. So in the Warriors, say they call all the gangs to action to yeah, get the yeah. Warriors, don't they? Yeah. And they do exactly the same with this. And it was, a for me, there's got to be something with the director loving the Warriors or yeah. something to do that because it was, it was absolutely Christy when they, uh, when they called out all the people. Yeah. Um, probably bit weird that everyone had a gun you're right in the street but. well I'm, i think i can accept that i mean that that's happened from the first one isn't it there's bit, we've had a couple of scenes i think was it parabellum when they was in the um train station and they paused for the civilians and stuff so there are there are a few bits but again I've, 
I've always felt they've moved forward, and this one I just didn't feel like it did. I mean, even the ending makes zero sense to me. Zero sense whatsoever. Right. Um, he was told if he kills the person at the high table, they'll just replace him. Mm-hmm. So he kills the person at the high table. Because right. they'll just replace him. What, the marquee? Yeah. Um, and then we're expected to believe he's dead. Of course he is. Um, I mean, even if we assume he's not, I still think it's a shit ending. As he, if if he is died, if he's dead, he's achieved nothing because he might as well have just died. Right. Because he's he's. I just don't get it. He he's just he's at peace with his wife. That's all he ever really wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. And they could have let a lot more people, including his mates, live. And if he's alive and he's this big Bubba Yaga thing, he could have been. He could have ghosted himself anyway. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with it. If you're saying they're replacing, because obviously he's earned his freedom and all of his debts to the high table and that. Are, are, but he could have just gone turned into a ghost. He could do, yeah. But also, he could use that to um, to then attack the high table, but not be entwined in it. You know what I mean? And not have to live by the rules of the high table. They could say that now he's free from it. He can now um, destroy it, but he's not. I mean, perhaps if they do a number five then and they come back, perhaps this will have a better standing for me. Maybe. I, I just, for me, I felt this was the closer. And if that's the way they've closed it, I'm disappointed. It was like the last series of Line of Duty when they kept going, oh, oh, the end. And you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't watch that shit. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're saying that's uh, that's what it is, that's what it is. I mean, I don't know, really. It's very difficult to critique a an action film. Um, it has given us some things to talk about, certainly, with, with things that we didn't dislike, which I'm quite surprised. I thought we were just going to come on and go, oh, yeah, it's fantastic. You yeah, know. yeah. But, uh, but I was quite... I honest. wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that I liked it a little bit more than you. I My only problem is with the fact they doubled up on all of the of the uh, the fighting scenes, really. I thought the rest of it was uh, pretty I good. I think that's a big issue, though. I genuinely think... It's like saying what you did, and I think you are bang on, is losing the appeal of some of the scenes and how special they are. I think some of the specialness got lost. But do you think, I mean, how exciting would it have been for the for the uh, the director if they said, oh, you can do the John Wick 4? Oh, yeah, excellent. And like, you know, you, you maybe got carried away. Like, come on, let's he just might, keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's away. just do this. Oh, I've just, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. And, yeah. you know, he might have just got carried away and they might have let him. They might have had enough money to do a film that's two hours and 45 minutes long. Do you think long. at any point someone said to him, here, mate, don't forget John Leguizamo could come back. Because <laughs> whatever happened to him. <laughs> he's still floating around somewhere he's a good mate of his uh, we're all going to come back at the end yeah so uh, yeah oh, I ain't got much more to say about it no for me I, I, I desperately wanted to love it I was so excited sitting there with my popcorn I was bopping away when it first come on and uh, I mean the, the other ones mate easy top 8 is early 90s for me when you introduced these to me I was so excited that I liked them and I will watch every year 1 to 3 again Every year, I don't care. I enjoy them. I don't think this is going to be joining the yearly watch. I will definitely watch it again because I need to be able to perhaps watch it in a bit of comfort, see if I'll get something different from it. But at the moment, I've only got 67 on it. Have you? Okay. I've got 71. Okay. I don't think it was ever particularly going to be much higher than that. I don't think. What would you give some of the others, like Parabellum and that? Well, see, I don't really remember Parabellum that much. I think one and two I've got quite high. They'd be probably in the 80s. Yeah. I don't think Parabellum had the... I think when it started to get a bit... And as we said, this one was quite cartoony, but when it started to get a bit more difficult to understand, if you know what I mean, like with all this table, I think I lost a bit of interest from Parabellum onwards. I don't remember so, any of the graphics in this one either. Do you remember previously they've had graphics in? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. remember any of that. no. No, I don't know. Um, no. It's just gone in a different direction, hasn't it? Yeah. And, and like I say, I think that the runtime has certainly not been great for it. So I'm sure everyone will tell us how wrong we are, but that is Maybe. my opinion. Maybe. That incendiary shotgun scene, though. Yeah, it's great. You seen anything else? I did just while I'm studying, mate. I watched Cool Runnings. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I had Pam and Tommy on in the background. What, the series? Yeah. Did it's you? quite entertaining, actually. Oh, yeah, I watched it. It's one of the ones that I actually watched all the way through. I yeah, think, yeah. I'm, I'm up to episode six, I think, of eight. Oh, yeah? Not actually that bad, no, but a right. lot, lot better than I expected. It is indeed. I haven't really watched anything, mate, or no. I, I probably have. I just I just can't remember it. So hopefully I'll have something a bit a bit more um, over the next few weeks. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. This is the next section. This is the section that we have to call homework. homework. we go so this is the section where we give each other films that we love and the other one hasn't seen in the hope of uncovering hidden gems it was me to you this week mm. i gave you a 2017 film directed by taylor sheridan starring jeremy renner and elizabeth olsen running time of 107 minutes budget of 11 million dollars taking 45 million at box office 7.7 on imdb 88 percent on rotten tomatoes with a synopsis of a wildlife officer who is haunted by a tragedy that happened because of him teams up with an fbi agent in solving a murder and hopes to get redemption from his past regrets i gave you 2017's wind river yeah you did mate just what i needed this a proper old film proper old film <laughs> not gonna set the world alight but it was a good solid story and actually really well made i was quite impressed with it um for elizabeth olsen I, d- I don't know much of her stuff but i thought she played a very good out of her depth fbi officer yep it's always nice to see fbi officer out of their depth yeah i thought she played that very well like jeremy Re- yeah <laughs> jeremy renner mate i thought he was a great character i don't think i've seen much of his stuff like this um but it all felt very natural and at home and i thought he had a great aura to him mm. throughout he looked like he wanted to be there he's quite good yeah. i mean i think he's got bogged down with this hawkeye yeah and like the the, the marvel stuff but he's done quite a bit he's done the one of the Bourne films didn't he yeah, which yeah. didn't do him much thing i mean he's all right but um but yeah seeing him in something like this this is one of those that sort of like does sort of like just comes up maybe on your sky you've yeah. not seen it on the cinema but it comes up in sky yeah. as one of the premieres but maybe on a tuesday not a friday saturday or yeah. sunday but like on a tuesday um, yeah, and they, I was quite surprised by yeah. it as well. Um, I mean, in fairness, we both really liked it. Good. Um, I thought we it was quite gripping, um, reasonably predictable finish, but it's some decent turns in there from the supporting cast. I mm-hmm. thought it was actually quite, quite strong for it. I thought it was decently directed. Mm-hmm. Um, really tense most moments. Um, what the misses, I will quote her, quite palpitationy. <laughs> Right. She's back to that one. That set her off, did it? Set her off a little bit, yeah. Um, I liked the fact it didn't rush, but it still had a pace to it, yeah. which was... Um, it puts it ahead of a slow burner. Hour and 45 minutes, was yeah. it? It's about yeah. right, isn't it? Pretty it's bang on, I think. Yeah. I think they did it. Um, again, saying like, well, you did... I'm not convinced I needed to see it in the cinema, and it strikes me as one of those you either get on a cheap bluey or is just on streaming. Well, yeah, that's it. But yeah. you're happy with it. You know, yeah. you get it and you think, actually, yeah. a fair play, that was good. Um, I love the snow camo. I want some of that. Do you? Yeah, lay in the garden. See, no one can see me. <laughs> Just need some snow. Just lay in the garden and cover yourself with snow. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there were some serious segues in there as well. Um, oh. And the effect of tragedy. And I thought that was handled really well because it was quite grim, wasn't it? it quite was brooding grim, in yeah. places. Oh, shit. I was convinced they was going to bring the mountain lions back to kill the dude at the end. Mm. I thought they was coming. But I'm glad they didn't because that final death, mate, was so satisfying <laughs> and so well thought out. Mm. I thought that was the highlight for me. Good. Actually, that bit, and I was like, yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, I thought it was really well produced, actually. Locations were stunning. I thought it was really, really nice. And I thought Renner and Olsen, their character dynamics was actually really good. And I thought they played off each other really well. And that, that line of how do you gave someone, gauge someone's will to live? Mm. I mean, I would have stayed on the blanket. <laughs> I, well. just, I just think, oh, I ain't get that. <laughs> I ain't going to get out of here. <laughs> I think I'll just stay here, mate. <laughs> um, I thought it did well at bringing up some contemporary issues as well with like marginalised people and the drug use. Mm-hmm. Um, what felt like it could have been a weird segue actually worked really well into the story and was really tied well together with the son being a member of the family whose daughter got murdered. I thought that was really good little tying it up. And it was quite bleak and sobering. It's bleak. Um, it is quite bleak. Certainly not a happy ending, but plenty of redemption in there, which was a nice feeling, but it is a bleak... You feel cold watching it. Yeah. Um, it was really good. Uh, now I'm in a quandary. I'm in a quandary because I've got this higher than Wick. <laughs> but this isn't carrying disappointment for me. This is carrying... A nice surprise. Well, see, it's a good story. Yeah. It's a good I've, story. I've got 70 on it. Have you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought it was all right. I, I did actually think it was all right. It's yeah. nothing. I mean, listen, John Wick is what it is, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it, it's an action film. It's. I, I'm sure that they're just going to keep going down mm. the John Wicks in, yeah. in our scores, and but because uh, what more can they do? He's got to, a pop a hip out soon, and well, be yeah, fifty eight. You know what I mean? But this, like, it was it was a good story. It was well put together. You know what I mean? Well acted. Yeah. So proper old film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm glad you liked yeah. it, mate. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you both had an evening. We did. Um, that's what sometimes you need, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what have you got for me this week, mate? A little story behind this one, mate, but it's currently 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb. It's an 18, two hours, 32 minutes long, but it's a drama, fantasy, horror, with a synopsis of a darkness swells at the centre of a world-renowned dance company, one that will engulf the artistic director, an ambitious young dancer, and a grieving psychotherapist. Some will succumb to the nightmare, and others will finally wake up. Starring Chloe Grace Moretz, Tilda Swinton, Mia Goff, and Dakota Johnson, $20 million budget, grossing 9.9, but I think it's pretty much went straight to streaming 2018's Suspiria I think it um, I don't know I'm sure it might have gone out in, in the cinema it must have done to get 10 million but I think yeah. it was mainly it was Amazon when it put it yeah. together so I think it got on there pretty quick so I um, I I did I think I put it on once and watched a, a little bit of it and I, I might have fell asleep I don't really know but I am going to have to admit that I haven't seen the, the, the Argento one that's the one I wanted to give you that's the one I'm desperate to see. But the missus doesn't like old films and wouldn't sit down and watch it. And I managed to convince her to watch the new version. Right, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it, I, I, I don't know. I should have seen it, yeah. certainly. I know that I think Ryan and all that like it, um, like Suspiria. Ryan obviously. loves it. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, I should have watched the, the original. I think The Fern does as well, actually. Yeah, I should have watched the original. Yeah. Um, I haven't. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I'll give this new one a go yeah. and then I'll probably go back to the uh, Argento one. Yeah, so. hopefully if I get an evening on my own, I can watch the original one. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay, mate. Thank yeah. you. So next week's mate. Yeah, don't talk about it. <laughs> well, it's come on to. Uh, oh, I don't want to talk about it's it. It's come on to telly oh, box. Right. So, so I'm going to watch it at home. Oh well, yeah, because he ain't got to go to cinema. Yeah. But you know, we got to have a look, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Avatar by a water. Because yeah. uh, it's come to the home. I wasn't going to the cinema to watch no. it, but now I can watch it in my own house. She wants to see it. And I know. That's why. That's the only reason that we're really oh, doing no. it, isn't it. The girls want to see it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I don't know. Let's Tune see. in for next week's great episode. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be better, brilliant. You, you better like, I better hope I like Suspiria. So I thought it'd be a bit of one of those. But it's my homework week, so I'm bound yeah. to be more angry next week. Anyway. <laughs> so, so there we go. Avatar Whale Water. Tune in for that clusterfuck. Mm. Um, mate, do you want to reiterate how people can contact us on social media? Absolutely, mate. They can get us via Twitter, which is at movie underscore drone, or on email, which is movie drone podcast at hotmail.com. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Mm. So just oh, to piss you off. I oh, know, good. And just to piss you off a little bit. Cheers. Just wanted to put that in there. That's why you're so chirpy. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. I'm supposed to be running though. It's supposed to be raining, and I haven't run for weeks. So okay. this marathon train, I've got a marathon in three weeks. No, right. and I ain't hardly done anything. But I don't know. I'll see if I can be bothered. Cool story, bro. Uh, well, I'm just uh, eating Easter eggs. New right. trainers, Easter you got to break them in. What, what I've been doing is putting my fist into an Easter egg yeah. and just like eating mm. on both fists. <laughs> Actually, I haven't had an Easter egg yet. I might have to pick myself. Ain't one. one. No. Fuck off. No. I haven't left. I probably ain't had an Easter egg for a couple of years. Right. Yeah. Okay, I might uh, I might go and get some more next week. Make sure I don't run out. <laughs> yeah. So, mate, uh, you done? Oh, I'm more than done, mate. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Say goodbye, then, Mark. Goodbye, then, Mark. See you later, everybody. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Oh, mate, I come home in the week. Mrs. was a bit down, a bit tearful. Um, she had messed up. And I was just having a chat with her, and I was like, look, embrace your mistakes. She gave me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, Mark. It's true. It's true. Sad, but it's true. <laughs>